So Minnesota has just agreed to a deal to bring Josh Doxson into Minnesota. And in an earlier video, I did kind of go over the possibility of trading for him. But I was kind of thinking, well, if it was actually going to cost them some real assets, like a fourth round draft pick, you don't do it. But if they can get him on the low, almost for nothing, definitely worth it. And this way, they literally didn't cost them a thing. So that was nice. And his numbers, like at least for his career, go he had 162 targets. He caught 81 of those passes for 1,100 yards, had eight touchdowns, and had 13.6 yards per catch, and caught 50% of his passes. That's how that kind of shakes out. And. With Cousins, he was kind of used mainly as a deep threat, which I went over in the other video as well, but then he kind of uses his frame pretty decently and just in contested catch kind of situations. And as far as this, our third receiver goes, I'd say this is probably by far the favorite to ultimately win that job by the end of the year, just based on the fact that both BB and Ola BC Johnson have been accused of not running the correct route. And also, BB's had, you know, a few drops here and there, and, I don't know, it just hasn't been very smooth. And when you consider they only had four receivers on the roster, Thiel and Diggs, and those two, half of your receivers cannot be counted on to even run the right route. You get a little bit concerned. And this should also... <laughs> be an immediate upgrade over a one Laquan Treadwell as Tread had a career for his career 517 yards and one touchdown that's his career with Minnesota and you know Doxon last year had 532 yards and two touchdowns just last year so a disappointing year still for Doxon, but still better than the entirety of Laquan Treadwell's entire career in one season. And he has had some good moments in this league, uh, Josh Doxon. Uh, the one I can actually remember was uh, against Seattle. Uh, you had Cousins kind of throwing a bomb kind of late in the game, and it was actually one of his wins against a winning team, and he kind of did it in the fourth quarter. So he made a contested catch, and they were down at like the one, I think. Then the next play, I think they handed it off, and it was a touchdown, and they ended up getting a win in Seattle. And Treadwell doesn't really have any great moments from what I remember. Yeah, that one catch against Green Bay, I guess. The one-handed one in, from uh, Case Keenum, but outside of that, not much. Uh, so, yeah. But I wouldn't expect Josh Doxson to really get too much time in this, you know, first week against Atlanta. I don't think he'd make a great impact in that game, being that he just got signed today. Or maybe just officially signed tomorrow. You never know with these things. But... They could potentially use them on some, like, fades, corners, posts kind of things just because you might be able to get him in a one-on-one -on -one situation and use his, his contested catch abilities, you could say, just to kind of use that to your advantage just because he can do that. So, but I wouldn't expect much else. And obviously they do need to make a cut for this to happen and I would guess probably one of the four tight ends or ten defensive linemen, if I had to make a more specific guess of those two, I would think maybe Brandon Dillon, because he his time might be, you know, on kind of numbered here, just for a little bit, because David Morgan's on the pup, so even if you kept him, you probably cut him for David Morgan to come back. Or the other one is uh, Jaleel Johnson, actually. And that's just because I feel like he... It's kind of weird that Jaleel Johnson's even in that kind of group. I didn't really expect that to happen this you know, preseason and now. 
But here we are. He just didn't do as much in the preseason as I thought he would, and he's kind of gotten, you know, shown out by guys like Armin Watts and Hercules Mata'afa and Jalen Holmes, and we have a whole lot of unproven on the defensive tackle depth chart, and he kind of did the least this this time around, which is kind of shocking. He's usually pretty good at flashing, just didn't do it much. But yeah, that's kind of my thing. This is just an improvement overall, I think, from Treadwell and probably both BB and OBC Johnson at what they are at this stage. But it's an improvement, probably just going to be like a one-year deal, not too much in that. But I like to know what you guys think about this. Until next time, I bid you all adieu.